Hey, Shalom, y'all. I want y'all to see this video, man. Hopefully this open up some eyes for a lot of you brothers to understanding what we're dealing with. Uh, this is just the biggest hypocritical country, the biggest retarded country in the world, man. Like, this country is completely, they say one thing and do another. They expect things that's just not reasonable whatsoever. And this is just another example of it. But, uh, I mean, everybody running around here, especially in America, running around here talking about they Christians, Catholics, you know, all that good stuff to deal with the Bible. But when it really come down to it, when we open up the Bible and see the things that they believe in, or see the things that the Bible says, they don't really believe in it. And I, that's one thing I've come, come across many times teaching. I've taught thousands of women the truth. And a lot of them have turned into atheists because they hear the truth and don't like what God really thinks about women. They think that God, uh, you know, is some, some dude that's just sitting in their heart just listening to their feelings and agreeing with everything they say and never disagreeing with anything they do and always love them no matter what. And they got this made up God, this Christ, Christianity God in their head. When the God of the Hebrews in the Bible is so far from that, it's ridiculous. He put something on your behind for not listening to him. He completely different than the white boy that y'all got on the wall trying to portray as him, all right? And this video is an example of that because in Christianity, you can do and say anything and it's all good. God still loves you no matter what. That's not found in the Bible though. That's the problem. Dealing with the Hebrews, we're gonna show you what God says. And we're going to make sure you understand if you're making God upset or if you're making him happy. So y'all check this out. I trust you're not a Christian, I'm but... Sorry. No, I am a Christian, actually. Do you believe what the Bible says? No, I don't. You're a Christian, but you don't believe what the Bible says. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, like, don't really fuck with well, religion. Well, let's, let's just, for, for... The Bible calls men to be the spiritual leaders of their households, okay? But you're talking to someone who isn't even religious, so this is just Wait, going you just, over you just said you're a Christian. You just said you're a Christian. I trust you're not a <laughs> Exactly. So, we've been taught in this country to be Christians by mouth, by, you know, people's opinion or people saying, oh, no, that person's a Christian. Oh, because he does this or he does this, these good deeds or... None of it is according to what God says. None of it is according to God's laws. When you actually hear God's laws, then you disgusted with it because you so much of the world. You have been completely brainwashed by the world that every time you hear something that God says is right, you think that God is absolutely crazy. And you are the one that is crazy. You are the one that has been brainwashed. If you think that a man is not supposed to be the leader of the household, if you think the woman is not supposed to obey her husband, you have been brainwashed. Okay, if you ever wondered if brainwashed work, know for certain it worked on your behind because you really think that a woman is equal. You really think that a woman can say whatever she wants and be able to say her feelings and a man just should not be able to say anything or correct her. But the truth is, the Bible says he is her Lord. And she is to worship this man. Psalms 45 and 10 and 11. Psalms 45 verse 10 and 11. That what the Bible say how a woman is supposed to deal with her husband. She's supposed to obey him in everything and worship him. As she would worship and serve Christ. This is what's required or it's sin. This is what's required or it's sin. We didn't got to the point where we just cool with letting the woman just be in sin. Cool with letting the woman just be downright despicable when it comes to being a wife. She in the house acting like she your equal. And we acting like it's nothing, like it's just a regular thing. Nah, this evil in God's eyes. God say the woman's supposed to be in full subjection in everything, every single day, all the days of her life. And if she don't obey you, it's a sin every single time. Yeah, they don't want you to hear this, brothers. They don't want you to know that. 
because then you'll know what a good woman is. They want to convince you that a good woman is an independent woman. A good woman is this, this so-called strong woman that works at Fortune 500 companies and all this. No, these women are abominations to God. And it's because they choose the life and lifestyle of a man rather than choosing the lifestyle of a woman being a servant to a man in everything. They despise that law. They despise God's laws when it comes to women. So much to where they'll convince you that they, they'll try to convince you that they're still a good woman all while not obeying you. All while trying to tell you how you should run your house. All while being a disrespectful, disobedient woman how can they convince you that they are a good and righteous woman? They doing it. They definitely doing it. So let's hear this one more again. Trust you're not a Christian, I'm but- sorry. No, I am a Christian, actually. Do you believe what the Bible says? No, I don't. You're- All right, so clearly right there, that's the main problem in America. People think you can say you're a Christian, say you believe in Christ, but then turn around and say that you don't believe in the Bible. That is one of the main problems in America. Let me get a scripture on that real quick. Because that's, that's confusing a lot of people. Let's see what the Bible say about belief, about your belief. This is Ecclesiasticus 32, 24. It says, it's at the bottom. It says, he that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. So when a woman say they believe in God, but she not listening to you, she not obeying you, she doesn't really believe because she's commanded to obey her husband and everything. Every single thing. So what she's showing with her actions is that she don't really believe. She telling you she believe, which God told us in the Bible that wicked people would do. They'll say it with their mouth, but not show it with their actions. How long are you going to allow her to say it with her mouth and not show it with her actions and still think that she's from God? She's sent from heaven. No, she is not sent from heaven if she will not obey you in everything, brothers. You see the hypocrisy. You see the girl say, yeah, I'm a Christian, but I don't believe in the Bible. What the hell is a Christian? What are you talking about? How the hell can you say you're a Christian, but you don't believe in the Bible? That's because Christianity have destroyed these people in this country. Absolutely destroyed them to make them think that the Most High is a joke. That you can just play with them. It don't matter what he say. It don't matter about his laws. But the truth is, God is writing everything down. He got his angels writing everything that you're doing down. Then you're going to have to pay for it on Judgment Day. Every time you disobey your husband, every time you disrespect him, you're going to have to pay for that on Judgment Day. Y'all ain't figured that out yet But it's saying right there in your Bible And the reason why she don't believe in it Is because she know It says she's supposed to be in subjection But she want to be this boss chick That America done turned her into America is completely destroying women By making them think that they, They're supposed to have all these expectations Oh he have to be this He have to be that He have to be this You are a servant sweetheart you don't have all of these expectations. You are the one that, that someone has to have expectations for. And because you don't understand that, you're, do, you're, you're bound to fail. Because the business deal that you're trying to do with the man is not going to go through. And the reason is because it's not structured the way a real business deal is supposed to be structured. Y'all structuring it like children. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I'm not gonna give you nothing. Like, that's literally the new, the new age woman, the modern woman. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. And hell no, I ain't cooking and cleaning. I ain't cooking for nobody. Who you think I am, your mama? But gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Gimme everything I want. It's madness, man. We gotta wake up to it. We gotta wake up and see that we being played. And we gotta trust the most high trust Christ trust that what they say about women is true when he say a woman is not a good woman unless she obedient trust him because the reason why your life is upside down now is because you're not trusting him 
you're trusting the damn woman over him. Trust him and get rid of the wickedness out of your life. And watch how much easier your life becomes. The scripture is clear. He said, he that believeth in the Lord, take heed to the commandments. You too, brothers, if you believe in God, you believe in the Lord, you have to take heed to the commandment. He said, you're supposed to treat your wife like Christ treat the church. You allowing her to disrespect you and you just chilling like everything all good. You are not keeping that commandment. He that believe, take it heed to the commandment. So that's on you too, brothers. Y'all got to wake up and put your foot down in your household and stop letting these women run everything because America is setting it up for them to feel like they deserve to run everything that you have, everything in your household. When the truth is they are servant, a full-blown servant with no rule, no type of expectation. The scripture tell you bread, work, and correction is for a servant. Yeah, see y'all don't want to hear that Y'all want to hear flowers and candy And all that Nah man, that's what America done taught you To kiss this woman behind But the truth is, she is your servant She's supposed to be useful and productive to you Instead she just take, take, take it from you Because she been taught that Your behind is the servant That's real talk You're a Christian but you don't believe what the Bible says Yeah, I Honestly, like, don't really fuck with religion. Well, let's, let's just, for, for the Bible. Uh, I don't fuck with the Bible. That's what she said. But she a Christian. Why? Because it sounds good to say. It sounds good to be at, at parties or be around your family and say, yeah, I'm a Christian. Ain't doing absolutely nothing that Christ said. Absolutely nothing that Christ did. But yeah, run around here. With his name in your mouth. And why he say these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Brothers, y'all gotta see this so you can stop ending up in these same situations with these females that do not believe in God. They'll say they're a Christian. Guess what? You gotta dig deeper. You gotta ask more questions. You can't stop right there and say, oh, she's a Christian. I'm good. No, you got to see if she agree with Ephesians 5 and 22, that she would obey you in everything as unto Christ. That's how you know you got a good woman. So don't let them convince you that, oh, no, not, it don't have to be every single thing. Oh, no, everything means actually everything. You know, you can't take nothing out of everything. If I say I want everything in here, that means every damn thing. I don't want you to take nothing and keep it for yourself. I want everything in here. That means everything. Stop letting them convince you that they can be their own person, have their own voice, have their own life. They are attached to you for your profit. They are attached to you for your benefit. Their life is supposed to be ran by you for your benefit. It's not for them to be no damn uh, mad scientist. It's not for them to be no damn supermodel. Their life is attached to your life. They can't even protect themselves to live alone and stay alone. It's foolishness what America's doing, just setting them up for failure. People can run through their damn house anytime they want to. A single woman, a single mother, a single woman can get robbed. Anytime. They are just pray for every for everybody out here that's that's doing bad. The single woman is the prey. Alright? It's just what it is. Because they don't have a protector. They are, are hopeless against a man. And this one thing that they do need, this man, they're doing everything they can, they can to try to uh, talk down to him and make him seem like he lame if he don't make a certain amount of money. And half the time the money, you, the way you making the money is whorish. But you talking down on the man because he ain't making the money. Y'all got to understand, man. This is a clown show that we sitting in these women do not they they do not have the mental capability to run their own lives it's the reason why they continuously going out of the house half naked yet expecting a man to take them serious for marriage consistently posting half naked pictures online and still wondering why they cannot get a man well every time you get a man he goes and looks online and sees all of your social media with your ass out and he knows you a hoe. 
and he don't want to make you his wife. That's the reason why there's so many single women because the culture promotes you to be this promiscuous, free, super sexy woman showing all your body, showing all your curves and everything to everybody. That's the culture. But then expect a man to take you serious as a wife. Yeah. The culture is to destroy these women. And they haven't figured it out yet. Your pride and your freedom is only to your destruction. You sitting there thinking that you, you're better than a man and all that, it's only to your destruction. Because you need men. You need men to protect you. You need men to keep the lights on. You need men to, to provide. You need men for everything. But America taught you you don't need them and they try to provide these things for you so you don't need them. But eventually, that's going to run out. When that run out, y'all going to realize how bad America set y'all up and y'all going to be mad as hell at America. But I hope y'all remember that these brothers out here was trying their hardest to wake y'all up so y'all can come back to the Lord and repent and not dive off the deep end and do nothing crazy when you realize that you've been sold out. Like America really did y'all in. America is lying to y'all. America promising y'all things that is impossible to give y'all. And when y'all figure it out, y'all gonna be mad at America. Don't flip out, just repent and keep God's commandments. Get under a righteous man, obey him in everything like the Bible says you're supposed to. Forsake all of America's laws. Do not keep America's laws. America is evil as hell. Forsake all of America's laws for God's laws. That's the only way it's going to work. And never deal, you brothers, never deal with a woman that do not fear God. Never deal with a woman that do not want to obey his commandments. Because again, like I always say, she will not obey you. You might think you, you know, the extraordinary Negro, but you're not. I'm just keeping it real with you. If she won't obey God, she won't obey the Most High, she will not obey you. All right? Hope y'all got something out of it, man. I'll get at y'all later. Shalom.